These are three section cones. The first cone is cut at about 50 degrees to the horizontal. The second one is cut at about 75 degrees to the horizontal. And the third cone is cut parallel to one generator of the cone. These first two sections will give you an ellipse. This is an ellipse. The major axis of the second ellipse is much longer than the first and that's because it's cut at a much steeper angle. This section is cut parallel to the one generator and the shape is a parabola. The parabola has only one branch and is unlimited, whereas the ellipse is a closed curve. As the parabola extends on, the two ends of the curve become nearer to parallel, but will never actually be parallel. Now given this question, inscribe a parabola in the rectangle. First thing to do is divide the bottom line on each side into four and the side into four. So 30, 60 and 90 and the same on the other side, 30, 60 and 90. And now join from this top point down through each of the side points. So the first one along the side, draw down and continue doing that on both sides. And having that done now, we draw vertically through the points around the bottom. Now these are points on the parabola. One, two and three. And your freehand curve through those. And then one, two and three. And again, the freehand curve through those points. And that's your first parabola complete. Now, construct a parabola geometrically. We're given this line AB and it's called a directrix. Given this line, it's called an axis and a focal point on the axis. Draw the locus of all the points that are the same distance from line AB, the directrix, and the point F the focal point. So we get the space between F and the directrix divided in two and that gets a center point there. Now measure an equal distance on each side of that new center. So I'm just going to use five millimeters, five millimeters each side of the center and from the point on the right hand side of the center, draw vertically through that point. And now set the compass from F to the point, the far side of the center point and draw an arc. And where the arc meets the line, that's a point on the parabola. And now mark a few more points on each side of the center and repeat the same process vertically through the ones on the right hand side and a circle through the ones on the left. And where the circles meet the lines that gets you two more points on the curve. Now join the points with a smooth freehand curve. And that's the parabola constructed geometrically.